Ms. Bassett. Hey. Hey. I love that. That's I'm a great way to stoop. start out. Hey. Is that how you wake up in the morning? Like, good morning. I try to. Really? Yeah, we're twins. Yeah. Hey. 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 What? Have an awesome day. You have eight-year-old twins. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't really understand in a day how you get all these things done. Being a mother of two eight-year-olds, being a businesswoman, you're a director now, you've been acting, you're a wife, and I never like those, how do you do it questions. Yeah. But I have to Big say. Big old cup of coffee. No. Yeah. <laughs> how do you work it all in so that you don't feel like you're cheating one part of your life or the other? You know, just um, uh, meeting it with passion. If you know, Bronwyn and Slater, they see that in their mom, you know, I want them to have that for their, their own lives. You have been successful on the screen for such a long time in movies like uh, Boys in the Hood and How Stella Got a Groove Back and uh, the other one that's my favorite. Waiting to exhale. Thank you, Waiting to What's exhale. What's love got to do with it? When the lights After so many years in front of the camera mm -hmm. and, and taking over the big screen, you've decided to go mm -hmm. behind the lens and direct the Whitney Houston story. Why? Why yeah. this story? Well, it wasn't something that I, I you know, I, I was intentionally looking to do. I mean, I had, you know, I just had a thought every now and again it would be interesting that I would like to do it. And then, of course, an acting job would come up with one character, take care of business, go on home, right. think about the next day. In and out. But with the director, first one there, last one to leave, and a million decisions in between the two. But when this opportunity came up, I felt as if it were a great gift that just sort of fell into my hands. And it'd be an opportunity, a great opportunity to go into an area where there may be fear and unknown. But that's where you can grow the most. You played mm -hmm. a lot of real life characters, right. like mm -hmm. Tina Turner right. in What's mm -hmm. Love Got to mm -hmm. Do With It, Betty Shabazz in the Malcolm mm -hmm. X story. Rosa Parks. So you've played all these great women, these historical figures. Did it give you an understanding that made you best suited to direct the Whitney Houston movie mm -hmm. because you've already played such strong female characters? You know, I didn't really think about that when I was directing. It really was about making all the actors from Yaya to the extras feel empowered, you know, own the character and that they really do have and possess everything that they need for the moment. Just come with, you know, an open heart and ability to listen. Is that what makes a great actor, actress? Mm-hmm. Honesty. Being able to, to listen. From going from an actress to a director, how are you different? Well, absolutely, you have to have faith every day because, you know. In what? We, we start with nothing. We start with various people coming from different walks of life and experiences and, and with, you know, our intentions and our dreams. And we have to make a one whole cohesive narrative at the end of this as a woman. We think we can control the moment. Let me see, let me fix it, let me fix it. And sometimes you just have to wait. So you learned patience. Yeah, a little patience. So now are you going forward into the next chapter in your life as a calmer, more patient parent, person, wife, friend, employee? I might have to direct like a few more movies to do that. <laughs> Is that the plan? You, you gotta learn these lessons sometimes two and three times. Oh, a lot. <laughs> oh God, please, there's so many I'm trying to learn over and over and over again. We have to live in the mundane. You know, we gotta pick up the clean, we gotta wash the dishes, we gotta, you know, we gotta sweep the floor. In between all of that, it's all about loving and, and keeping it groovy. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming to talk to you. All right. You beautiful lady in red, you. And to you.